US and also in Europe. Anyway, just an update on the airline sector. Let's move on now. Real estate in the world's top shopping streets has remained resilient over the last 12 months, according to Cushman and Wakefield. The group's latest global retail report shows New York's Fifth Avenue continues to be the most expensive address to rent a space. But emerging markets, Latin America and Asia Pacific, have seen the highest growth in rental prices. John Strawn is Global Head of Retail at Cushman and Wakefield, and he joins us now in the studio. John, thanks for coming in. So talk to us about where we're seeing these big surprises, because I guess it's, it, it might not be too much of a surprise to still see New York at the top. But tell us about some of the, uh, the new pretenders, if you like. No, Anna, it's no surprise to find uh, Fifth Avenue New York still in the top spot uh, with transactions getting ever closer to $2,000 a foot. Um, still we have Causeway Bay Hong Kong second, Ginza in Japan in Tokyo third, and London and Paris have switched over places at fourth and fifth, Champs-Élysées and Bond Street. But the BRICS countries have really shown the most positive growth, particularly Brazil, China, and India, not so much Moscow, although even Moscow has come up, I think, one place on our index. I, I notice that Seoul actually gets in at number eight now. That's yes. moving up the index, and that's not even brick. I mean, that's next 11, so that's uh, an impressive performance for, um, for, for, for that particular city. Yep, South Korea, Seoul has um, shown fantastic growth in the last 12 months. When we talk about the New York I mean, Fifth Avenue, uh, this has been number one for nine years now, a yep. uh, fairly unassailable position even during the downturn. How much of this is a barometer, do you think, of the US economy, and how much of this is actually more a global story? Because it's, it's kind of a tourist attraction, really, isn't it? Well, it must be partly a barometer of the US economy, but it's, it's mainly a factor of um, you know, the influence of the big international retailers, luxury brands, fashion brands, who all want a place on Fifth Avenue. And supply is very short, so, you know, they're chasing the, uh, the space that becomes available. We cover a lot here on this channel the concerns about peripheral Europe, so the islands and the, the Greeces of this world, and concern about, about their economies generally. And it's interesting to see that being borne out in your research here, because I see that Greece and Ireland have slipped considerably down the world rankings, as have some other European countries, Bulgaria, for example. Get, paint us a picture of what's happening then in Europe. Well, um, what we've seen in the last 12 months, according to our index, is a general recovery in the capital cities. The major cities of the world have clearly improved. Um, although across the board, the index is down about 1.5%. So in the smaller towns and cities, life's still pretty tough. Um, in terms of the capital cities, it's really just in the economies like Ireland, Greece, Bulgaria, where there have been continuing falls in the, in the really major streets. Uh, when you look at your, your, your indices and you, you look at the, the cost per square footage, what's the correlation between the performance of, of those you know, outlets on Fifth Avenue and those outlets on Bond Street? Is there a direct correlation or is it simply people don't want to lose their space on Fifth Avenue or don't want to lose their space on Bond Street? I think there are a number of drivers, but obviously there's a correlation between rent and sales per foot and these are the places where the retailers truly generate the highest sales in the world so they know that these are the places where they can generate those sales and profits and they're prepared to bid up the rents to win the space let's also talk a little bit more about the biggest uh, uh, jump that we've seen in the asia pack and where you see the biggest uh, jump in rents uh, it's it's surprisingly uh, from uh, my home city of Mumbai, which is Linking Road. I'm actually shocked to see that. 33% <laughs> rise on Linking Road, which would never feature even in a Mumbaiite's shopping list. Well, that's my, shocking. My to tree, me. it's where the international retailers want to be, and it's the same. You've got pretty much the same story in Khan Market in Delhi. Mm -hmm. They've been two of the biggest risers in the world in the last 12 months. And, is and they'll the go on, they'll go on increasing. That's amazing. That actually amazes me. <laughs> you should see the traffic jams there. <laughs> John, thank you very much for joining us today. Pleasure. Really interesting. John, John I, I'm sure uh, Stefan will be upset to see that Paris is slipping a little bit, but uh, maybe he won't want to dwell on that one. Uh, John Strawn, <laughs> Global Head of Retail at Cushman and Wakefield.